You join us here today at the fantastic Wellington Country Park. I've managed to come down on a guest session to catch up with Mr. Dave Furridge. I mean, we've never had the chance to fish together. I've seen him about on Cart Fest and different events and stuff. We've had a chat, but it's the first time I've managed to sit down and pick his brains because there's a lot of experience there. I mean, how many years have you been fishing now? Uh, 37 years. 37 years. So, perfect opportunity to pick your brains. So, basically, what I want to know is how often do you go fishing? Well, um, at the moment I'm working in, in a fishing tackle shop in Bristol. Okay. I'm running the Carrot Fest shows, uh, which are taking up a lot of time, so I'm not yeah. doing that as often as I would like to. So realistically, I do probably two to three nights every two to three weeks. Right, okay. And do you just do quick overnighters, or is it dotted about different places, or do you just concentrate on one venue? No, I'm fishing a few venues at the moment. Most of the, my time has been spent on Welly this year. Um, I very rarely do overnighters. Right. Um, I mean, the venues I'm fishing are a good hour, hour and a half away. That's the one thing, isn't it? I mean, yeah. a lot of the places, like you're from Bristol, I'm from Leicester, we haven't got the best venues on our doorstep, yeah. so we can't go after work, handful of bait, know, yeah. which would be the ideal situation. Yeah. We have to do two, three hour journeys. Yeah. So that's restricts to what you have to do. So you have to almost do two nights to get your money's worth almost, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I do, I, you know, I do tend to like the longer sessions. I, yeah. can, uh, I can get to Lake, set the store, um, you know, learn a lot about what's going on through the lake beforehand, making phone calls, you know, keeping in touch with people yeah. as you're fishing. I mean, that, that's the one thing I've noticed with you already. You don't just put the rods out and sit down all the time looking at products, looking at different things, looking at different ways of fishing, the yeah. weather, everything. Yeah. It's never just sat there and it's no. good enough not catching. No. Something has to be done all the time, which makes a massive difference to everyone's fishing, doesn't it? Yeah, well, of course it does. I just, I, I tend to think that there's, there's always a way of catching a fish. Of course, yeah. Um, and if, if you look at all the gear we've got available to us the, these days, including all the bait, all the different size baits, all the different color baits, the, you know, the different flavored baits, I just, I just think, you know, the, the fish want to eat all the time. The fish are big. Um, especially in Welly, they're, they're huge fish, they must be eaten, they have to That's eat it. all the time. Like, like now at the minute they've got an algae bloom so it's not fishing very well, mm. but like you said to me, they're, they're, they're 40 pound fish some of them, they've got to be eaten, yeah. so... Yeah, yeah, no, they've definitely got to be eaten here. The thing with Welly is, is there's a lot of weed in here. Yeah. Um, it's, it's well, well fishable, but there's a lot of natural food in here. Yeah, a huge it's amount incredible, of isn't food. it? It crawls yeah. back, like you said to me. Yeah, there. that's <laughs> right. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So with all that natural food in there, the fish can sit down and just eat the natural food. Yeah. I don't believe um, that the fish are on naturals for any period of time. I really think they're going to go and eat the boilies and eat the food we're putting out. They, by eating the boilie, they're getting more goodness for less energy. Just, just on that little ball, because yeah. it's like a dinner plate, isn't it? Rather yeah. than rummaging through all the weed, yeah. they as well just turn up, bang. Yeah, food. that's right. And that, you know, that's that's why I tend to use a lot of boilers when I'm fishing. Right. If I'm doing a three night session, I use 15 to 20 kilos of boilers. I do tend to bait up large areas if I can. Yeah. Um, I do like the fish moving around to pick a bait up here, there, competing with other fish for the food. Then I find that they tend to make more mistakes. And I've had loads of multiple catches by fishing that way, not just on here, but just on other venues as well. Venues. Yeah. yeah. So you just do you turn up and put in a set amount every time, or do you? No, it just, just depends. Li little and all, it all, you read it on the situation, don't you? You don't yeah. think, last time I come here, I put a set amount of bait in, I'm going to turn up and do exactly yeah, the same, right, yeah. because then yeah. it doesn't happen, because it's no. not always the same. I think you get a feeling, you know, like I said, by keeping in touch with people, you know how many fish are being caught, yeah. you know if they're on the munch, um, you, you just get that feeling when you come to lake, you know, is it a hot sunny day, is it an overcast day, if we had a storm, is it raining, That's you it. know, and all these things go round in my head, and I just, just really just decide there and then how much bait to put out. Like, I might put out five kilos of boilies, 10, 15 um, spots of maybe a bit of hemp or whatever, a yeah. um, bit of pellet in there, but it really just depends on the day. Okay. And when you when you think of it as well, I mean, you're saying you've used 10 to 15 kilo of boilie, mm. it is a lot of bait, mm. but when you turn around, you look at the size of the water yeah. and you think of the size of the fish, I mean, how many 40 pounders are swimming in there at the minute? Yeah, well, at any one time, you know, at the right time of year, probably over 40, 40 pounders. It's just incredible. And then you mm. think of the size of their stomachs, the kilo yeah. of boilie next to that yeah. is nothing. Well, and if you think as well, if you bait up a large area, say the size of a tennis court, uh, I mean, 15, 20 kilos of boilers is nothing on that no. area, especially over like three nights. Exactly. So they're yeah. just moving from bait to bait and then getting the confidence up, yeah. and that's, that's the situation. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. yeah. So, how's it gone for you this year? So um, far? It's been really well this year. Uh, on Welly alone, I've had 5 20, 3 30, and 45 12. Five, excellent. So, I've, you know, well made up. So, that's got year up and running. Cart Fest is up and running as well, yeah. we've got that going, yeah. so you're a busy man, yeah. so next month we're going to catch up with you and pick your brains more into detail to rigs and bait and everything, yeah. so we'll see you next month. Right. Spot on.